Welcome to Green Energy Futures, your guide to the green energy revolution that's already underway. Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. Today, we're in Edmonton, Alberta, and we're gonna learn about solar air heaters like this one you see right here. This is a do-it-yourself solar air heater that we're actually going to build in today's program. Then, we're gonna look at uh, solar walls, which are a major commercial application of this, where a company called SolarWall builds entire walls on tire plants and car plants to heat the building and provide tons of fresh air in a mostly passive way. It's an amazing technology. Um, here in Edmonton, it's 10 degrees today and this thing just sitting here in demonstration mode is already at 27 degrees so stick around this is for my friend Yaro's garage and uh, we're pretty confident it's gonna work so stick around and learn how to make one of these with us today to build our do-it-yourself solar air heater we used a combination of found materials and stuff from the hardware store our project cost just under $100 the more materials you scrounge the more you save Okay, so we're going to build this solar hot air heater and uh, we're going to build a 2x4 version of it, 2 feet by 4 feet. And I'm just going to walk you through the materials that we picked up here. We used found plywood as the backer piece. We paid $30 for a piece of plexiglass to cover our solar air heater. We used 1x4s to make the box. We purchased a fan from a computer store to push the heat into the garage. We grabbed a dryer vent pipe to carry the hot air from the solar air heater into the garage. And we used some construction glue and a couple of cans of black spray paint to turn the aluminum cans into solar collectors. And the most important material in this job is our bag full of aluminum cans. Then we cut the plywood backer to the right size and built the box with our found sheet of plywood and 1x4 dimensional lumber. I'm fairly handy, but all you really need are a tape measure, some screws, and a decent power drill. Okay, now we have our box all made, so I'm going to flip it over and we're going to try it out for uh, sizing with the cans. Okay, now for the fun part. Uh, we've got, uh, we need about a hundred cans to fill up the uh, solar hot air heater and we have to drill holes in the tops and the bottom so that the air flows right through the cans and up to the top of the solar hot water heater. And you got to be a little bit careful because of the curvature of the bottom of the can, but I'm going to put about five holes in it. So it's kind of a gentle pressure because you don't want to crush the can and you got to be at the right angle. Then, Duncan Kinney, Green Energy Futures editor, and Yaro Malinowski, our video producer, join in as we spend 15 minutes drilling cans. After that, we move on to installing the fan. So we're just drawing a template inside right now, so we know where we can cut it out. We're just using this, and it's right in the middle of the frame. And the hole is for the fan, and the fan is going to be used like this to blow the air into the tube and into the garage. The computer fan runs on household AC power, but you can hook one up to a solar panel if you want to go all in on renewable energy. Once we drill some ventilation holes at the bottom of the box, we're ready to lay out the cans and spray paint them black. We use construction glue to hold the cans in place like a little hot air chimney in the solar air heater. Then we paint the cans black to maximize the heat they'll collect from the sun. After we let the cans dry overnight, we came back and finished off the box. We carefully attached the plexiglass cover and then set our do-it-yourself solar air heater up against the garage where it'll be used. The black cans collect the heat and since the hot air is trapped by the plexiglass, it rises up and then is pushed into the garage by the computer fan. On a partially sunny day, we hit 39 degrees Celsius. On a sunny day, 52 degrees Celsius. Okay, we're here with our finished solar air heater, our homemade solar air heater with uh, less than $100 worth of materials. Uh, and it took us only probably three or four hours to put, put it together. And that's not knowing what we were doing. So, so I think we did quite well. Um, we're out here on a sunny day, or sorry, a cloudy day. 
Uh, in Edmonton, Alberta, so we're way up north. The ambient air temperature is about 10 degrees Celsius. Uh, this is just sitting here with the clouds out and the sun just barely filtering through is already up to 26 degrees Celsius. Now we know that these units, from what I've seen online, can get as hot as 140 degrees Fahrenheit or about 60 degrees Celsius. So that's gonna provide Yaro, the, the guy we're building this for, a lot of heat in his garage. And so uh, really keen to see how that works. But uh, for now, uh, we know that this simple little system uh, is gonna work and it's mostly passive, except for the little fan that moves the air around. While that's the homemade solar air heater, there's a company that builds commercial scale versions of this technology. It's called the Solar Wall. We talked to Victoria Hollick, VP of Operations at Conserval Engineering, to explain how it works. It's made of conventional metal, uh, typically 26 gauge, and it gets installed on an exterior south or southeast or southwest facing wall. And how it works is there'll be thousands of tiny micro perforations along the surface of the, the wall. And those perforations allow the heat that normally collects on a darker surface to be uniformly captured and then drawn into an air cavity behind. And from there, that air is preheated anywhere up to uh, 50 degrees Celsius on a sunny day. And then that preheated air enters into your building's conventional uh, heating and ventilation system. These solar walls can save you anywhere from 20 to 30% on your heating bill and can pay for themselves in as little as five to 13 years. They typically make the most sense in industrial buildings that require a lot of fresh air. To learn more about solar heaters, check out our blog, photos, and podcast at greenenergyfutures.ca. If you like this video, please subscribe and tell your friends. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. If you liked this episode, you should watch Net Zero 101, our video on the burgeoning Net Zero home movement. Subscribe today. We produce a new video every two weeks. Okay, here we are. It's a cloudy day and we're trying our solar hot what uh solar. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, we're finished our solar hot air, sorry. <laughs> <laughs>